With arrangements, you can now make multiple versions of a song without having to duplicate that song inside your library. Because just like a song that a band plays, your song inside ProPresenter can have sections like a verse and a chorus and a bridge, and you can rearrange those sections to make an arrangement. So first, let's create an arrangement for the song This Is Amazing Grace. So I have all of my slides in here, and again, arrangements are created by groups of slides, so we need to create some groups of slides. So I'm just gonna right-click on a slide, and I'm gonna go down to Group Label, and then we can apply one of these labels. Now these are the preloaded labels that we can find in our preferences. So if I go to Pro Presenter into Preferences, under the Label tab, you'll see all of our group labels we have here. And we can set some overall preferences for these. So right now there's different colors for each verse, but I prefer my verses to all have the same color. So I'm gonna just set these all to blue. And then we have our chorus here. Now I know that most of my songs include a bridge. So I'm just gonna hit the Add icon here, and I'm gonna type in Bridge and we're gonna add a bridge in, and I can select a color for the bridge, so we'll add orange for our bridge color, and we'll call that good. Now we can go back, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna to go to group label, and I'll assign this verse one. Now you'll notice that it's assigned verse one to the entire song, it's grouped them all together, but we can easily split up this group into multiple groups. So I'm gonna right click right here where the chorus starts, and I'm gonna to go to new group and set this to chorus, and then verse two starts here, so again, right click, verse two, and then we'll scroll down and we'll see that this is our bridge, so I'll right click here, I'll do new group and bridge. Now I know that normally when I'm doing a song, I usually have some blank slides in the song as well as a place for my background to reside so I can always throw in a background and have a place to cue that from. And so we're gonna create a couple more groups, so I'm gonna create some new slides here, so I'm just gonna hit the new slide button, I'm gonna hit it twice, we're going to right click on this slide, we're going to do new group, and I'm going to go to other. This is going to allow us to create a new group label, I'm just going to call this background. And you'll see that we have an option here for a color, I don't really need a color for this, so I'm just going to leave it at none. And then if we want to use this in the future, we can save this label to the preferences we looked at earlier. So I'm going to save this and hit OK. Now we'll add one more of those, so I'm going to do new group, other, and we'll call this blank and we don't need a color again for this one and we want to save it and so we'll hit OK. So now we have these other groups in here, so now that we have all of the groups of our song laid out, we can create our arrangement. So I'm gonna go up to our document information bar here and we have an arrangement button. So I'll select this and this will bring us to our arrangement editor. So I'm gonna create a new arrangement, so I'll add a new arrangement. We'll call this our normal arrangement and I'll hit OK. Now up here you'll see all of the different tokens that we have available for all the different sections of our song. And then below there you can see the actual arrangement that we're gonna create. So I can easily just move this background to the beginning and you'll see it moves to the beginning. So now we can just go through and lay out this song. So normally I would do background, verse, chorus, and then we do a little jam after that. So I'll do blank and then we do verse two, we do another chorus and we do another little jam, so another blank. We sing the bridge, we do the chorus, and then we'll end the song with another blank. So that's our normal arrangement, and you can see I can scroll down and see all of this. And the best part about using arrangements is if I edit this chorus, it's going to edit every single chorus in my song because it's reutilizing this token or this section over and over again. So you only have to edit it once, and it will be changed everywhere in your song. So now let's create one more arrangement. So I'm gonna go here, we're gonna add a new arrangement, and I'm just gonna call this short. This will be our short arrangement. And for this arrangement, we're just gonna do background and we're gonna do bridge uh, twice. And then we'll just do a chorus at the very end and a blank. So this is just gonna be a double bridge, chorus, blank. So that's our short version of this song. So now we can add these to a playlist. So let's take This Is Amazing Grace, we'll add it to our default playlist here. And I'm gonna add it one more time. So now you can see we have our first one here and another one here, and we can right click on this and say select arrangement, and I'm gonna select the normal arrangement first, and then let's say later on in our event, we're gonna actually do uh, the short version of this, so I can select the short one, and now we have two different arrangements in the exact same playlist.
Now you can also set a default arrangement for items in your library. So every time you drag them to a playlist, it uses that default arrangement. So if we right click on this as Amazing Grace and go to Select Arrangement, we can set this to Normal. Now when I drag this to our playlist, you'll see that it uses our normal arrangement. The last thing you can do is automate the process of creating arrangements if you're using Planning Center Online. So if we go to Preferences and we go to our Services tab, you'll see there's an option to log into Planning Center Online and there's also an option in here to make arrangements from sequences. So it's going to make an arrangement from your Planning Center Online sequence. So let's look at our Planning Center Online plan and you'll see that I have one item of This Is Amazing Grace. If I edit this item, you'll see the sequence that I'm using for this song. So it's got an intro, verse, chorus, an outro, a breakdown, some different things in there. So we can accept this and now let's go back inside ProPresenter and all I have to do is add a new PCO playlist and we're gonna grab this arrangement example and hit select. It's imported this playlist with the one item of This Is Amazing Grace that it matched up to a library item, but it's saying that there's a few things from Planning Center that it doesn't know how to translate into groups. Some things like verses and chorus and the bridge were automatically matched, but it doesn't know what to do with intro. So for the intro, we have to select and say what group do we want to go with any intro that's part of our Planning Center Online sequence. We're gonna say background is the what we want to use for intro, and then vamp, we're gonna use blank. For the breakdown, we're also gonna use blank, and for the outro, we're gonna use blank. So that's how we wanna treat it. And now we'll hit okay. And so now it's created the same arrangement as Planning Center Online.